this Christian leader that I was exposed to, his his thought is that they were they were from a generation where um, things were very different, mm. um, but the trajectory was set, and so because because the brakes weren't put on mm. in, in the past, we've ended up here. Can't put the brakes <laughs> on the beast. What's trying to do? Um, yeah, no, we ended up here where it, we're where we've always been. Come out from my my people, right? Like it's just the way it is. Pray for the good of Babylon, and then you know, uh, get out of Egypt. And you got to do both all the time. You said young men are seeking authority. I think this is interesting. Um, what they're seeking is permission, but they need an authority to give it to them. Right. <laughs> what so, they want is permission. So Islam is so attractive to mm-hmm. young men because of its authority, because of its mm-hmm. um, f- firm foundation that it just keeps on going on. It's not going to change. Mm-hmm. So they want that, but then they also want to be the pen dragon. They want to be the patriarch, mm-hmm. and they want to grow into that position. Mm-hmm. And the sooner, the better, in their opinion. And <laughs> that is very man. It's good. It's good that we have Dr. Kuntz was saying that this week is going to be next week's episode. You know. Um, the problem is not that young men have zeal, nor should you try to stop young men from having zeal. Um, no, you just, just need to channel It's important it. to know that young men are not the only men. Young men, really, in their zeal, ought not be in charge. Um, and that old men have their own problems that need to be dealt with as well. Mm-hmm. So, like how they treat young men and whether they hear their zeal as a real clarion call to what's going on. Mm-hmm. Right? So, uh, but... The, the zeal with which the young men are trying to stand back or stand up against the beast now uh, can look a little, uh, uh, let's just call it legalistic. Um, you know, you pick your your version of religion uh, that it's going to emulate, but uh, tit for tat and on the line and, and everything being about if we don't do it just this way, there's only one way to do it. Mm-hmm. And we all got to do it right now. Otherwise... It won't work out. And it'd be nice. It'd be nice uh, if all of Nineveh repented in, in three days of preaching or something mm-hmm. like that, right? But um, what what I think the journey from young man to old man is a little bit is realizing you have enough to do just keeping yourself in in good shape, right? Keeping your, yourself in line without worrying about everybody else's. Um, yeah. Yeah. So nakedness. as a woman... As a woman, I can feed that spirit of rebellion, or I can, yeah, I can divert it to, um, uh, well, not just a woman, but a follower of a certain leader. Mm-hmm. Anybody can do this. Mm-hmm. If you're following somebody, then if you hear words that aren't really serious, but that are, you know, leading towards a rebellious spirit. Mm-hmm. You can either fan that into flame by right. by encouraging it, or you can divert it to the patience and the um, the trust that is needed, and that you're saying, you know, an older man is hoping to instill in the younger man. Yeah, or just to the proper again, proper authority, right? So, like, oh, we're talking about this thing, and some of some of some of said, well, have you talked to that person yet? Mm-hmm. Oh no, well, like, oh, why are you? Talking about how bad it is then if you haven't even talked to them yet. Like, yeah. That's weird, right? But that's what we do right. kind of natively. 